The Board of Industrial Training launched its heavy-duty machinery training in Region 6 earlier today. Latani Schultz reports. Earlier today, the Board of Industrial Training, BIT, launched its heavy machinery training program. The completion of this course will make the participants eligible for careers in the oil and gas sector as well as in construction. Present at the launch were Mr. David Aragon, the Regional Chairman of Region No. 6 and Chairman of the Board of Industrial Training, Vice Chairman of Region No. 6, Mr. Zamal Hussein, CEO of the Board of Industrial Training, Ms. Saskia Hazmond, the Finance Minister, Dr. Ashni Singh, and the Minister of Labor, the Honorable Joseph Hamilton. The Regional Chairman of Region No. 6, Mr. David Armagan, gave his remarks. As we are aware, Guyana today is attracting major businesses and is involved in expansion of major infrastructure, which of course will call for a new set of skills that we don't presently have in our country. So it is very important that we begin to look at training our men and women to take up these very important positions that will be created by new investments. The Board of Industrial Training of which I am the chairman for the time being, is tasked or is mandated to ensure that we provide the necessary training that will encompass all the various areas where skills are necessary to be utilized in the new investments. Mr. Armagon also mentioned. It's a collaboration between the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Labor and therefore you are expected in the next three months to be able after which you would have completed the training to be able to operate these machines in a way in which will be desired by the people who own them. You will also be certified because one of the things that people in this country who are coming to invest looking for is certification. Minister of Labor, Honorable Mr. Joseph Hamilton, delivered these remarks. So between 2021 to 2023, the Board of Industrial Training, we have trained 1,675 persons in Region 6, which includes Oriala and Siparuta. Of the 1,675 persons, 921 of those persons were females, and we expended in those three years $754 million training people under it in Region 6. The minister also had this to say. I'm told you are, they have some 63, 66 persons assembled here, 49 males and 17 females. Before I leave you, I am glad that we have been able to have women think outside the box and now you find women are coming to do what we call the hard skills program and that is increasing by the day so I'm grateful and thankful for the females who have um, joined this program. The Minister of Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, gave the feature address. Cohort, you will recall in fact that the original advertisement inviting applications indicated that we'll be doing a first cohort in the upper quarantine area in Corifaton. But the demand was so overwhelming because we received almost 400 applications, 370 to be precise, from throughout the length and breadth of Region 6 that we decided in fact to break up these 370 applications that we received and do three parallel cohorts. Dr. Singh also mentioned. Let me be frank with you. We are operating today in a very different environment. This is a modern Guyana. We are building a modern Guyana and it's happening before your very eyes. And the days where you could have turned up and said, man, I know for do this thing, give me a walk. 
those days are rapidly disappearing. Today, if you want to get the better quality jobs with the more credible companies that will pay you more significant emoluments, you have to be able to demonstrate that you have the relevant certification and licensing. The heavy machinery training program will last for three months and participants will receive certificates upon completion. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Latani Shells.